Good morning, happy Thursday, happy everything, everything today. Because let's make today a really positive day. Let's make today a really powerful day. And it doesn't always have to be waiting for external things. You create it yourself. So what are you going to create today? Let's see what is going to be coming up with your um, espresso. This is yours. This is um, a guidance. This is the universe picking cards to give a message to you through me uh, to read them for you. Okay, so you are the questioner. The first card may resonate the most because it's the, in the now position. Um, and the rest, guys, is what we call a prediction. And it was 44, as I said that, 444, 44, 4444 4, follows me around every single day. Don't, a day. I don't think that I haven't seen it. Anyways, let's begin. Let's have a look. So first card, what first card is coming up for my question is, okay, we have the Seven of Swords. This one doesn't often come up in generals. 111, guys, seriously, it's 111. This doesn't often come up in generals because, well, I don't know why. Um, there's a lot of depth to this card. I mean, the Seven of Swords is about deceit but in this instance because it's in your position unless you're being deceitful which i hope you're not um this is about maybe not facing up to a certain situation you know when we put things off you know when we have to get things done you know when we don't have that conversation because we're just not sure about the outcome and it's easier sometimes not to say something or it's easier sometimes not to tamper with that over there because it can explode sometimes this is what the seven of swords is um it's feeling like you can obtain the results you want by not going through the whole system and what i mean by that is not the full steps you know if it means saying what you're feeling there being no meeting of minds then so be it if it means you stand in your truth then carry on this card is not standing in the truth because there's just too many kind of escapism energies going on now you could be having two 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 sorry guys all my videos are just me saying oh look it's two 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 three 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 anyway sorry i digress um the seven of swords is just having that escapism having that kind of mindset of i'll deal with that when or i'll do this first and then i'll sort that out but what this is saying to you today is well we don't know what it's saying to you today because we haven't done the other cards this is where you are okay so let's see i'm gonna i'm gonna Get a cla ah, I didn't even need to get a clarifier because the star card is directly underneath it. Now, this is excellent. I think, guys, the advice from your guides is saying go through this karmic cycle, whatever it is that you are going through at the moment, because there is a wish granted in this. Um, this is a karmic wish. This isn't a physical wish, um, but it's getting the balance between the physical um, the emo and the emotional. OK, and when the Seven of Swords comes in, it's it's heavy on the one side so maybe the physical is more heavy than the emotional for you so you're getting everything done you're doing your work you're doing this 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 but you know there's a conversation to have or you know that things aren't quite right so it's asking you to kind of balance that out a little bit doesn't mean you've got to make any dramatic changes uh, but what it does mean um is that you will then kind of um reduce the seven of swords energy and you're heading more into the star energy there is healing here i think some of you have been hurt and you don't want to when I say you don't want to face up to something, it doesn't mean like because you're avoiding it. It's just some things you just don't want to hear or the reasons why and all these sorts of things. Um, but the star card is here to kind of back you up with that. OK, so let's have a look from an outside influence position. Let's see what is coming in. Shuffle these again. <clears throat> so let's see. So the universe is always here to help you. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is coming in. This is an abundance. This is could be anything from winning the lottery, money owed to you, a pay rise, tax rebate, sudden bookings if you're self-employed. If you take on this energy, if you lean towards this energy here, see how she's pouring. Her emotion in the pools but she's still got her feet her leg firmly grounded she's not gathering her mind and going i'll deal with this later 
another time. And it doesn't always have to be with another person. You could be voiding something in your own soul, in your own self. If you're triggered by something and you retreat back to an old way, that's the bit which you could be running away from. I'll deal with that later. It's another day today, you know, all these sorts of things. Well, if you address it, acknowledge it at least with the star card. This is coming in. But this is this is a goal. I mean, this is and this isn't even an action that you're doing. This is coming in for you. So that's pretty sweet. This is um, you know, it could be moving into somewhere that you've always wanted to move into. This could be um having more money more, again more funds that have just come out of nowhere maybe you've had a massive bill and you think oh gosh how am i going to pay this um and it comes in so the universe is guiding you is helping you in the right direction the future position for you it's two cards there i will get a clarifier so you've got the knight of swords and you've got the tower did the knight of swords come up before in your position suddenly you'll be moving in ways you cannot even begin to imagine so whatever this is really accelerates you to your direction. You seem to get your mojo back. Have you lost it recently? In the whole swamp that we call everyday human thoughts. There is something magical coming in here. And the Knight of Swords and the Tower, you just suddenly all of a sudden flip and think, do you know what? Why am I doing this? I don't need to. I'm going to see where this is going. I'm going to ask, why is the Knight of Swords on the Tower here? Um, and let's see, why is the Knight of Swords on the Tower here for my questioners? Because it's met with a major, which is justice. The card that likes fairness, the card that likes balance. This is a Libra energy. We're talking about balance five minutes ago. Um, the reason why it's here, I mean, you've got two mages with the Tower and the Justice card, so this is big players, guys. Uh, but with the Knight of Swords, it's almost like all of a sudden things will seem fair. Things have a funny way of working out. If somebody's done you wrong or if there's a situation that isn't fair, it will balance out all of a sudden. We just can't think about the hows, whens or whys too much uh, with regards to this because we will just keep ourselves um, in the Seven of Swords energy. This is keeping you stuck to a degree, guys. We don't want to do that. Um, the page of swords, cheeky page of swords at the bottom there. This is an, a younger air sign wanting to get in touch. Um, air sign is um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, and see what is happening with this. Let's see what is happening with this. Anyway, I'm just shuffling loads of cards now. And what I'm going to do, though, I am going to ask one card, one card, the card uh, to, for one card to come out, um, the general energy, the advice for today, how my questioners can proceed after, well, now onwards. How should they proceed with this in mind? I mean, I'm telling you something. I didn't even flip this over. You've got the world, a new phase coming in. So how do you proceed today what energies and it matches my other energy um is you think do you know what change is coming i'm ready for this new cycle i am not going to run away from change or things that might feel different or myself and trust me this new change this new cycle will happen all of a sudden mm -mm, it will anyways you have a beautiful thursday guys book in with me if you want a voice recorded i'm doing those a week uh but to book face to face I, I had a cancellation friday but now i've rebooked it so now it's still next week one hour or half an hour you take care have a wonderful wonderful day and see you in the next video Bye bye